What's up everybody, welcome to Nintendo Land, I am so excited to talk about Mario Maker 2 with you guys as it drops in just two days for this Friday and I cannot wait to get into this game, make you guys levels for you to play and for you guys to make me levels for me to try out. So before we even get started, we have to talk about what we want to you know, prepare for and how do we want to prepare before this game drops. So I have a list of 10 things to remember before going into this game to help yourself get ready and mentally prepare yourself for the levels that you want to make. Number one, remind yourself that there is a total of five game styles, which will have a total of 10 themes in each style, which gives you 50 different combinations before you even start the game, which is absolutely insane. So keep that in mind before you even get the game, so that way you can start making out and planning how your level wants to look, because you have to pick the right game style and the theme to match up with your, you know, whatever story is to your level, which would be a ton amount of options. So go ahead and get started now by writing out your ideas. Number two, remind yourself right now that the 3D world theme does not carry over, so please make sure you know exactly what type of level you want to make ahead of time, because once you start the level in the 3D world theme and you realize halfway through, oops, I can't use this certain tool that I want for my level, you have to completely wipe it to pick another theme. It's the only theme uh, that does that, so please make sure that if you really want a 3D world level theme, make sure that you know exactly the tool set that you're going to have, look through all the items, the enemies, and everything ahead of time to make sure you have everything at your disposal. Number three, remember back to earlier where we were talking about there's 50 different gameplay styles that you can have? Well, think of it this way. Now there's 50 different building music you can have and 50 different in-game themes you can have. So you'll have over 100 music tracks to listen to in this game, which is phenomenal. And I don't know how I'm going to cover this because I do want to show you guys some of this music when it drops, but that's a lot of music. So we'll probably have to split it up with multiple ways, but that is over 100 pieces of music. So that's something that you could do before you even either make a level or play a level. You can just listen to the great music that Nintendo has added to this game. Number four, going back to the 3D world theme, remember that Mario and friends have a brand new moveset here where they can do a, a lot of new things. They have a long jump, they have a higher jump where they can spin, they have a spin jump, they rolls, they even have boost runs. So remember that the moveset changes completely with this game theme, which might add some uniqueness to your level. Number five, probably my favorite thing to do is try to recreate fun or outdated levels. This is something that's really easy to do if you cannot come up with a level theme for yourself, is look at some of your favorite games from like either a 3D game or another type of Mario game that you want to recreate in Super Mario Maker and make it in your own certain way. That's an easy way to get started with this game and maybe there's a level like Cool Cool Mountain in Mario 64 where you're like, let's take this level and put it into 2D and lots of people like to see stuff like that. It also works if you do this with other type of series throughout the Nintendo franchise such as maybe make a Metroid level where you have to escape through a vertical room, maybe make a Zelda level where you have to go throughout the Great Plateau in Breath of the Wild. Create things that have already been made, but put a spin to them, put a twist to them, and put them in your own way in a 2D space for Mario Maker 2, and lots of people will like it, I guarantee it. Number six, know that your tool set and your platforms and everything change depending on what theme you pick. So remember that if you might have one mushroom platform and a sky theme, in the jungle it might turn into like a tree or a little plant. Uh, remember this because this is key when you start to make levels designed off of certain things, and you want to make a all-around, you know, more iconic level based on your theme. Number seven, if you're bored and still waiting for this game, pull out a pen and paper and just start, you know, sketching drafts of how you want your stage to be. Start drawing out exactly how high you want it, how you want it to flow, you know, the different things that you want to put in it. You may not know the full tool set, and there's tool sets online on YouTube videos that you can look at. Game Explain posted the entire thing, but what you could do is just sit there and draw out exactly how you want it to flow and, you know, put out your obstacles and stuff like that, but start drawing down ideas and sketching how you want your levels to look. That's a good way to get started. Number eight, use the preloaded tip walk that come with the game. Trust me, I know I am a veteran Mario Maker stage maker. I really do make tons of stages and I make lots of clever ones all the way back from number one, but I will even use this mode because it will tell me some things that I may not have thought about and give me some tips and tricks that I might not know. There's advanced and there's even expert level design tips that they give you in its own section. So please use these and look through these and complete these to make sure that you get the best out of your Mario Maker levels. Number nine, make vertical levels till your heart's content. Remember that there is a wide range of options in this game, and one of those is verticality. And you can make the highest levels as you possibly can by using quick sleight of hand uh, by making different sub areas and different vertical areas within those sub areas to make it seem as if the level continues to go up higher and higher and higher and higher and higher. There's all kind of cool things you can do with verticality, so make sure you use this feature wisely. And number 10, please play through the story mode because if anything, it will make you just a better builder and a better player at Mario Maker. It'll help you get really cool design ideas and it will teach you how to do things that you may have never thought about. It is a 
awesome walkthrough without being a walkthrough and design as a story mode. So please give that a look and check it out because you might be pleasantly surprised at some of the things that Nintendo has come up with and something that you might want to add in your own Mario Maker levels. Thank you everybody for tuning in today. If you're really excited for Mario Maker 2, go ahead and like the video, leave a comment, and if you're new, subscribe to the channel because you can bet we'll be posting all things Mario Maker 2 all the time. We'll be posting videos of all the making things and all the cool tools and sets and everything you could possibly think of, but thank you for tuning in, and we're almost there, guys. It's two more days, and we can get to making until our heart's content. Thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll see you in the next one. See you guys.